Whatever. And people, y'all keep feeling I got three baby daddies. I don't. Mm. Oh my God. How Stop. many baby, how many baby daddies you got? I have two. <laughs> you got to do the first one. The, good the one. Fir- yeah, the first one was the, my um, one relationship that I've been in all my life. It was right. the longest. Mm-hmm. Period. And then, you know, I did my little thing. You know what? And then, and, and then <laughs> I, 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 I stumbled across <laughs> I stumbled across this last one, right? But <laughs> how did um, you stumble? You fell into it. I tripped, hit my face on the ground. You know what, Deja? Mm-hmm. I want you to get out. <laughs> I said, <laughs> no, for real, but um, okay. but you know, I got, I have an amazing child, an amazing okay. baby. He's so chill. He be ch- no, I'm lying. Nah, I'm lying. His ass be a little crabby, a little bit. Oh, yeah. uh, he's been, two as, months. As a, as he's two lately. months. Right. Last four days, he's been getting one. My last one, the name, his name's Seven. <sighs> Fuck it up. I ain't fucked no, I ain't fucked no shit up in so long. But I used to Fuck. get my nigga a massage. Mm-hmm. Cut his nails, cause why your nails is long? Get him facial. Yes, get Let's him facial. Make facials. him be a king. Yes, <laughs> they don't deserve that. Mm. I'm finna go whip up some pasta. Yes. Real quick. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I'm really one of those. I'm really one of those girls. And man. I feel like those type of girls, the ones we get played with. Exactly. Like it's like I'm really so coming I'm like that. Before I start spazzing now and fuck all your shit up. <sighs> Fuck it up. I ain't fucked no. I ain't fucked no shit up in so long. But I used to. So you like that? I used like you to, would get a I used to be like that. I used to. Oh my, my baby, my first baby daddy. Tweet he got shit the up. flux. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I'm fucking all that shit up. Your friend calls, busting their tires. You know what he at? You like our friend? You at the trap? Fucking up the windows. Oh my God, leave people alone. I used to be, like, the I just be so retarded. So you feel like you you definitely grew from that. Like yes, you're not, I you not, you a little more cheap. Yes, because if you come do my shit, I'm gonna cry. Oh Don't be mad. God. So I'm, I got too much to lose. I ain't doing it. I'm mm-hmm. I, but I used to be like that for real. His oh mama crib, but her windows. Mama. You ain't never mm-hmm. played with a mama. Mm-hmm. I played with a mama. She still don't like me to this day. But it's wow. cool. Oh my God. You know niggas love their mama and their grandma. They love their mama and their grandma. They love their grandma. I fucked his mama window up. Wow. <laughs> he got wow. me the same day though. Because he don't play about his mama. Right. Tim should have like better, huh? I think one of my people but you do though, would like to settle down I and wanna have another down. baby. I want to settle <laughs> down and have like probably like two have kids. You. I probably want love that. Like the Jack. Because you don't. Catch your husband. Catch your husband from Deja. Y'all finna do something around here. I like that. Okay. Especially your multi million dollar husband. Women like. Talk about that they want more kids. Everybody kind of make it seem like a bad thing, but I love how no. that. I love how you embracing it. Like I want a yes. big family. You know, a lot of women I get. I really want a big. Fa- I want to be that grandma. But I'm finna go to grandma uh, Deja house. <laughs> grandma Day. 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 Grandma Day. Day. <laughs> she finna cook. She making this pasta shit good as hell. Cause I didn't make. I make a good pasta. Don't I? Didn't girl. You gotta say yeah so they can hear you. <laughs> so like the pasta, I be making these pastas. I be cooking. Like I really enjoy doing the crib shit. But I'm, I'm go, in I that like, era. I be wanting to go outside. I'm too, in though. that era right now. Like I'm stuck in the crib for real. Like I look. Yeah, you gonna get him. Timmy. You gonna get this. I'm outside. I'm gonna get Hennessy. But then I'm at home with the kids. But you definitely <laughs> don't give off like I'm drinking Hennessy. Okay. Girl, what? I'm lying, but I'm 25. <laughs> okay. I'm 25. 25. I like that. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. 25. <laughs> okay. But I feel like I'm getting older. I got all these fucking kids. <laughs> I feel like I'm ready to like kind of settle down a little bit. My Deja. Period. Okay. I'm trying. I'm really trying. I'm, I don't want to settle down, but I'm it's you scared. These niggas ain't right. Hi everyone. I'm your host, owner, and creator of the mix. Welcome to my channel. Welcome. Deja Lane, proud side chick, and baby mama of Major League Baseball player. Well, she speaks. She speaks. Deja speaks. And she's also Ari Fletcher's friend and Arrogant Tay's friend. They are all from Chicago. And if you check my previous video I did on Deja, go on over to my video section. Um, there were some things going on with her a couple months ago, I guess, when paternity was confirmed and um head on over there check out my video my content matter of fact i will link that video to the description section of this of this post so but yeah deja lang proud side chick she speaks she's um speaking and there's been some activity from her on social media 
But before I continue with my discussion, opinion, and commentary about this, the new information that's breaking and developing, I need for you all to like, share, subscribe to the mix, like, share, subscribe to my channel, especially those who are digitally passing by. You can go ahead and smash that subscription button and click that notification bell. That way you all will be in tune with all the content I drop on my channel. And if you're interested in donating to for content enhancement creation, go ahead and check out the links in my description section to my Zelle. Uh, all is welcome. All is appreciated. And also my cash app information is actually below as well. So in the description section. But thank you guys. Thank you for your ongoing support and all donation go towards content enhancement creation. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and share a screen with you all about Deja and as you heard from that clip oh my gosh and I'll come back with my commentary and opinion but you can see where her headspace is at and um, I, I really don't have much to say it's just I guess I'm not surprised any longer I'm not surprised any longer but let me go ahead and share my screen okay according to the Shade Room. Tim Anderson talks real life love with wife Bria after his son's mother, Deja Lane, slammed their marriage image. And before I continue with some excerpts of this article, Tim and his wife Bria, to my understanding, they have history before the fame, before the big contracts. And I think they were in college together. So my understanding based off of my research and again, I kind of did a little breakdown on my previous video about Miss Deja Lane and the connection to the Major League Baseball player who I believe is either in the process of signing a almost $200 million, million dollar contract over a hundred and some million dollar contract or who has already inked it. So he's over, worth over a hundred million or expect to be worth over a hundred million. Um, but nevertheless, I digress. Let me jump into this excerpt of this uh, article. But yeah, like I said, they his wife, I believe they have history before all of this. So as far as there being an image, eh, I don't know. Uh, over the holiday weekend, Deja Lane posted receipts of her alleged love with baseball player Tim Anderson. She repeatedly alleged that his marriage to Bria Anderson is nothing but a forced image and narrative and again i disagree with that um unless there's something different that i'm unaware of also i think the photos deja is showing oh sweetie 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 i think those are probably old photos when i guess they had their rendezvous and stuff so anybody can post up old pictures <laughs> anyone can post up old pictures but they might or might not be old but um, I'm more inclined to think that they're probably old and with technology nowadays you can set things up to make it look like it's present or new days after Deja's photos videos and jabs at Bria on Instagram Tim hops online with a birthday birthday message honoring the real life love between him and his wife and Tim cites happy birthday Bria we know how our hearts souls feels completely that's all that matter for real i know where your heart sits at and i express my heart to you we did so much work behind the scenes to get to a space where you can find peace and happiness you know the world is yours when it comes to you and the kids today gonna be great because it's your birthday i don't give a f what nobody say you know my love that real life love anderson wrote on sunday may 28th oh she's a gemini oh my fellow gemini go on bria and she's like i said she's she's well educated i think she's um in teaching she's a teacher and then she does a lot of philanthropy work for her husband's or different organizations she's really seems to be really really classy just my opinion it's just sad all across the board Deja Lane first entered the public picture in June of 2022 when she posted video featuring Anderson to Instagram with the that text baby father written on it. In July, she launched her first married for the image accusation after Tim appeared on the red carpet with his wife Bria and their two daughters, Peyton and Paxton. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen. So yeah, as you can see, Poor Tink Tink Deja is kind of in her feelings, I guess. I 
don't believe Tim has ever posted her. Um, I'm not sure what happened to the side chicks or the extramarital <laughs> affairs staying secret and I guess knowing their role. But this is it's not funny because it's a sad situation across the board. I can only imagine how his wife feels. You know, this is just like public humiliation over and over and over again. And it seems like Deja Lane gives no F's. Well, that's the facade and persona she's putting on, in my opinion. But deep down, and as you can hear on that clip I played, and I forgot who she did that interview with, but it's all over YouTube or whatever. So go there. There's a full interview that that young lady did with De Deja Lane. But as you can hear in that, those clips that I shared, seems like Deja's just a proud side chick. Um, she says she has, what, two baby daddies. And one of them she was with for a long time, and the other one she kind of stumbled or fell upon or something like that. I thought it was a lot of cackling and kiki for her to be, you know. And sometimes when you laugh like that and kiki like that, sometimes you probably are hiding what you really, truly feel. Because at the end of the day, although her son Seven is, wow, she named her son Seven right after his number. That's, that's sick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no disrespect to the child, but oof, that's a new level of wow. Oof, I, I don't know. And, and then too, you never know what Tim was telling her. Who knows? But like she said, you know, she fell upon or stumbled upon the second one. Um, she did too state in that interview, I didn't share that part, where she, uh, her daughter, her oldest daughter, Demi, um, they're really close. She's really close to her older, oldest daughter. But what bothers her is when her daughter went on YouTube to kind of search for something, she stumbled across YouTube comments or YouTube um, posts about Deja just negatively. And my response to that is, what do you expect? Especially when kids get older and they and they have access in, to the internet and social media that's what you will find and oftentimes sometimes as adults the decisions that we make does trickle down to our children and it may impact them in some way shape or form so being an adult you gotta be careful even for me and i can speak to a few things as well so um but i digress from all of that also deja says she's interested in settling down as i stated before hide your husbands especially your multi-million dollar husbands so I don't know. This is all interesting. I, I don't understand why she would go out her way to. She just seems very immature and has a lot of growing to do. Um, and if you check out my previous content content on her, you will find she is a entrepreneur. Um, she also spoke about her career in that interview she did about what she does she does hair she is a stylist or whatever hairstylist and she does pretty good too her, she's to my understanding she's up there with Tay, arrogant Tay. but just i think her specialty is like a lot of braids or something else and some other stuff but yeah she does really good she does really well at that i don't think she has any college background or any of that but cute girl but oh poor little tink tink oh gosh whew everybody is at a loss at this um because you can't tell me that as deja spoke yeah she would like to settle down one day and as i stated hide your husbands <laughs> so, all bets are off and gloves are off <laughs> pun intended <laughs> still me it's a baseball player <laughs> but yeah so what are your thoughts drop a comment drop a comment it's sad all across the board that this is out it's here for public consumption and i just feel in my opinion as Bria, as a wife, she, I mean, she should be able to say or post whatever business as usual, even before he, this extramarital a side chick type of affair that produced an innocent baby, a child. So I, I'm just believing that he, sh Bria should be able to feel however she feel and just operate however she's been operating before all of this. And also to my understanding, Bria and her husband does not have a prenup. <laughs> So, and if I was Bria, I would stick around, just stick around. And then not just saying stick around just to be spy for, stick around for um, the financial piece. You just, you know, I, I, I've never been in a situation like that. So I just feel that sometimes some people can't overcome things. So, 
and I'm not her I'm not speaking for her but it is definitely possible and especially if her husband does continues to do the work and to gain her trust and because I'm quite sure the trust is not there but what are your thoughts about what Deja was stating in that interview she proudly says she has two baby daddies um, the first one she she was in love with him was with for a long time but she gave him the flux she said she was retarded and damaged property so she admitted that too on um video <laughs> I, I don't understand what's wrong with these people why are you admitting to a crime on video so she said she did that out of i guess mentally her rage and you know i guess he played in her face as they say so what are your thoughts about that it's just it, i think she probably need to seek therapy she should if she hasn't already done it doesn't seem like it. she's sitting on the wrong couch to me that's just my opinion if she has not sought therapy then i'm talking deja I, i'm saying i believe the young little lady needs therapy it's, it's okay therapy is okay because it seems like she has a lot of misplaced anger in terms of looking a certain way and and you you just automatically feel that oh i'm i'm cute i'm pretty i'm this and that so i should no one should do me wrong and i should have what i want and that's just not how life is working that's my opinion about it that's the energy i'm getting from her and also i'm getting you know like this entitlement type of energy because she feels that she may have a fat ass or this and that and hey i'm entitled to get whatever man i want i'm a beautiful woman this and that so it just seems like there's some a missing connection or missing link internally from her that she probably has to tackle in order to possibly you know make better choices and the people that she des decide to date and i'm not excusing tim because who knows what was told who knows what was said i don't know he had a choice to make to not deal with a married person. Matter of fact, what am I talking about? The man is, <laughs> he's, he's married, period. So she knew he was married. Oh my gosh. So this kind of reminds me of the Dwayne Wade type of Gabrielle Union situation, but they were not married. So yeah, anyway, I, I, I don't know what to say about all of this. It's just a mess, it's a foolery. And I just hope that they all can, co-parent successfully but it looks like Deja's gutting for that spot that 200 million dollar spot so but like share subscribe to the mix like share subscribe let me know your thoughts drop a comment down in the comment section this is getting interesting and this is not the last that we will hear from Deja Lane and if Tim is still dibbling and dabbling in that he is shame on him <laughs> shame on him you know so i noticed she did post something like she was in kansas city or whatever in a hotel room lows but again when was that taken was that taken when her and him were creeping and doing some things and why wasn't this stuff posted before you know why he didn't post her i, I don't know it's a lot of questions to be asked but hopefully again that they can co-parent successfully and all is well with the kids so that's the main thing but my hat's off to bria gotta be a tough lady a tough cookie to be with a multi-million dollar player especially when he didn't have that from nothing and because and you guys grew together wow wow so and also too deja is not the only person he was all he was linked to so it's just that deja was the one that got pregnant <laughs> and maybe the other ones got pregnant too but hey you know how that probably end it you know so but yeah like share subscribe to the mix like share subscribe to my channel i will talk to you all soon bye